Quasar Takeoff is insanely, insanely cool, but it's one of those things that's kind of hard to explain. I just need to show you. So here we are on the Quasar Cast Takeoff page, and we're going to click on this code button here and then copy so that we can then clone the repository. Open up our terminal, git clone, and then I can paste that in there. And then when it's done, we're going to CD into the takeoff directory that we'll have. So CD into takeoff. Now we can run yarn there. And then when yarn's done, I'm going to open it in Visual Studio Code by running code space dot. So this is Quasar Takeoff. If we jump into source, and then we go into scratch pads. This is basically where you can change anything you like. You can play around with these components to your heart's content. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll jump this into full screen, open up the terminal, and then run yarn dev. That's going to start up a dev server for us. Throw this back on the right side. Open up Chrome, throw it on the left, and if we wait a moment or two, there we go, the dev server is running, and this is Quasar Takeoff. Now, I'm just working on this right now, so chances are it might look a little bit different, but the basics will be the same. If we jump into Components, and then, for example, Q Banner, notice that we get the video at the top here, but then down the bottom, we've got a banner. So in my Scratchpad directory, I can now jump into Q Banner. I might hide that pane now. And then we can change this to something like change for example and there you go it changes down here so on the top we've got the video that you can play and learn along with and then down the bottom we've got the changes that you make inside of your code editor how cool is that now maybe this layout isn't flexible enough for you so here's what we can do we've also got and if i just close this here we've got horizontal mode which allows us to basically change the size horizontally We've also got vertical mode, and this can be particularly useful if you want to see how your component responds when you change the size of the window. So this is great for testing responsiveness. We've also got full width mode, which is basically just going to put the video into full width. And these two are my personal favorites. We've got open a video window. So if we click on this button here, we can select a resolution. It's actually going to pop the video out. So then you can have the video on your top screen, for example, if you have two screens, and then you could have the components sitting on the bottom screen. Now we've also got the inverse of that. So if I close this out and then click on this button here, it's going to pop out the scratch pad and then the video is going to show up on that top screen. How cool is that? This is going to make the learning experience of Quasar a whole lot nicer. So go ahead and check out Quasar Takeoff. I really think you're gonna love it.